Ich sah dich heute. Du warst in einem Auto oder Truck oder Wanne. Ich habe meine Mom vor deiner Aufmerksamkeit, aber es war's kein Du. Du fällst mir. Du warst mein Freund, mein Vorbild, mein Onkel. Du fällst mir. Du bist dankbar für dich. Du fällst mir. Guys, that was a poem uh, I wrote to my uncle. Uh, I saw him the other day, or I thought I saw him. He passed away in January. And uh, me and him are really close. So every time I see a sports car or a truck or a classic vehicle, I think he's in it because he always loved that stuff. Me and him bonded over that stuff. But even yesterday, even eight months after his passing, I, I thought I saw him. I just tried to get his attention. But it wasn't him. I will translate this poem for you now to English. I saw you today. You were in a truck, a car, or a Vonnet, which is a pickup truck in Iran. I lifted my hand for your attention, but it wasn't you. I miss you. You were my friend, my role model, and my uncle. I miss you. Forever grateful to you. I miss you. Um, this is probably going to be a serious video, but I'm going to keep it short. Uh, you know, he was the first person I lost in my life that really I had a connection with. Obviously, my uncle died when I was in second or third grade. And I remember being really close to my uh, grandfather. But at the same time, I was so young. And it was a long time ago. I don't have those memories. But I still remember the times I did hang out with my grandfather. So that was the, I guess you would call that the first time I lost somebody. But this is the first time I lost somebody at a significant age where I remembered everything we did with each other. He always hanged out with me. He always had legitimate conversations with me. He encouraged me to follow my dreams. So he was my friend, my uncle, and my role model. One of my role models, one of my significant role models. So he was also a father figure to me. Uh, the point of this video is, like, guys, I'm 22 years old, and I guess in maybe the next seven, eight years, uh, life's, uh, life's going to start taking things, taking people away from me, uh, in the sense that it's, it's might be their time to pass away. But for, but for now, I'm going to cherish my time I have with all these people in my life. So what should you take away from this video? I think this point of this video is to say appreciate the people around you as you know them for, for right now they're in your life because one day they won't be there and if I would have thought three years ago my uncle was not going to be around the, the thought never occurred to me because he was always there he, the thought of him never being there never occurred to me because he was always there if I can go back um, uh, going to the go to a great university now, but that was away from my hometown where my uncle and family were. If knowing what I know now, if I disregard the relationships I made in college, knowing that if I knew my uncle had was going to get cancer, I would have probably stayed uh, in Houston because I, I wanted to, I would have wanted to spend more time with him. And, um, I did see him. Uh, when I could, uh, I didn't see him with more than I wanted to because of school. But uh, it's hard, guys. You know, losing someone isn't easy. And uh, if anyone tells you it's easy, to, you know, to just walk away from them. They're not human. We're human beings. We're emotional people. We're emotional creatures. But what I can say, I just re reiterate. The people who are in your lives now, enjoy them. Make sure you cherish them. Now, if you don't like them in your life, then you don't have them in your life. But the people you enjoy having in your life, make sure you enjoy, enjoy every single minute, every single time you're with them. Because one day they're not going to be there. And if you ask your parents or my parents to think to them, ask them the same things. Do you ever thought your parents, did you ever think about your parents passing away? 
22, 18, 17, before you're 30? No, that thought never occurred to them, probably, because they were always there. Um, and you ask them with a follow-up question, if you knew they were going to pass at the same time, would you have cherished uh, their company more? So that's what they would have said, of course. But hey, guys, um, my internet's about to run out, but I hope this video clears up some things and I know this, this is a more serious uh, video than I intended to make on this trip in Germany but I thought y'all should deserve to hear it even after eight months I know he's not I know he's not here I know he's passed away but I still think I see him because he was such a huge part of my life it's it's difficult but you know we have to realize that you know, we that they we have to realize that if you still think about them, you still see them as in like they still have effects on your life, as in like even though they're not here, you still think about their opinion. Oh, if he was he, what would he think of me? Or what if she was she she he or they were here? And they, what would they think of me? What would they think of my actions? What would they tell me if I was in a pinch or something? If I was doing success, what would they tell me to do? That means they're still around. They're not gone. Of course, you would like to see them, but they're still here. Just as long as if they're in here, they're still here because they still have influence on you. And that's what you want. You want people of, of greatness who, to you, have to have influence on you, to have to still impact your decisions. Alright guys, this is a long video. I hope you enjoy. Have a great have a great day. Cheers.